Hey, Keith Townsend from the CTO Advisor. A little bit less formal CTO dose, if there's such a thing. I've had this aha moment when it comes to Kubernetes, especially when it comes to projects like KubeVirt, which is taking virtual machines, running them in containers so that you can run your virtual machine environment like you run containers. On the surface, you may laugh. You may say, why would I want to do that? And the reality is what I've learned over months of kind of injecting myself in this Kubernetes conversation is that the hardcore Kubernetes, people who really are into containers and Kubernetes, believe that containers are exactly equivalent to shipping containers. That if you spend the time re-architecting and resizing the industry to fit inside of containers, that standardization of running things, even though today they're inefficient to run into containers, if you run them in containers, then long-term you reap all the benefits of containers. Now, why don't we just re-platform everything to run into containers? Because that's hard and it takes a lot of work and not every application ironically runs best in containers. Sometimes it run, they run best in virtual machines or as monoliths. So therefore you take the monolith or virtual machine and run inside a container. Love to hear your feedback. What do you think is a container the best model for abstracting infrastructure or should you do something else? Hit me up at CTO Advisor on Twitter, thectoadvisor.com. Talk to you soon.